In this short video, we're going to look at creating an assignment using an existing quiz and importantly, show how to return any feedback you give on the quiz to the students. So very quickly, let's create a quiz. Now I've got an existing one called short, there we go, short binary revision. And the simple instructions are just going to be to answer all questions and press assign. Now that's been assigned to my students. Let's have a look at what the students see. In the student view, you can see the students being given the assignment. They can see it in their assignments. And this has been assigned to them. So they click on this, click on the quiz, and this are the instructions. So watch the video and then answer the questions. And press submit. Now the student straight away gets to see the results. Two out of four. And the student can see got the first one correct. And this one, the feedback's been given here. And then you've got this one correct, but got this one wrong. But there's no feedback. There's only just a list of things here. So as a student, at this point, I'm not quite sure maybe what I've done wrong. And my teacher can give me feedback on this. So let's have a look at what the teacher would do once that's been submitted. Back in Teams, the teacher clicks on Assigned and has a look for the quiz, so short binary quiz. And you can see it's been handed in here. So when we click on this, we can open it, and we can begin to look at the results. So this one was wrong. So I can add some comments here for this question. Try and watch the video again. What is 23 in binary? Have you got the place values correct? That's a bit of feedback for the student on that question. And for this last one, he's got three of them out of right. He's got these two mixed up here. So we're going to give him one point for this and add some feedback. So there's the feedback. And I'm going to press close. Now, Importantly, at this point, <coughs> that feedback hasn't gone back to the pupil. In order to do that, you need to be in Forms. So if you open up Forms, you'll see your list here. Now this is the form that I've just, been, I've just given out. If I click on this, I can see the responses again, see the pattern of the class. But all the feedback that I've typed in won't go back to the pupils until I press the Post Scores button. So when I press Post Scores, it's going to ask me to select everyone who wants their feedback back. So there's only one student here just now, but I can press the checkbox here to select all the students, or just select some, and press Post Scores. And those, <coughs> those scores are now being posted back to the pupil. Back in the pupil view, the pupil will get an alert. Computing class, assignment returned. So the, if the pupil is online, they will see this, or when they will next log in, they will see the alert. They will, it will bring back up the assignment, and when they click on it, they'll go back to their quiz. They will see the button. I got one more point. They have to scroll down, and they'll be able to see the feedback given by the teacher, like so.